What's up ladies and gents, how we doing? Hope you're having a good day so far. Hope you're enjoying the quarantine, hope you're staying relaxed. As you guys see here, I don't have my partner Adam. Today I'm going to do a yoga slash mobility session, about 30 to 40, 45 minutes. As I always talk about, the most important thing with fitness, with football, with your overall health is listening to your body. And that's something that I've really, really gotten good at over the years as I've studied the body, as I've continued to train, continue to better myself as a human, as a footballer, and as an athlete. I've gotten better at listening to my body and it's something that I preach all the time. And I'm a big guy about practicing what I preach. I try not to be a hypocrite. Obviously, there are hypocritical things that people do certain times, but I try the best that I can to practice what I preach. So without explaining so much, today I woke up. I didn't really sleep well last night, couldn't get to sleep, and just didn't sleep well. I woke up feeling a little tired, a little groggy, body was sore, mind was tired. So I went out, grabbed a cup of coffee, Got my water in as usual, and I did my breathing, my Wim Hof breathing for about 15 minutes. My plan today was to do a body weight hard leg session, but the past two or three days, we've trained very, very hard, so it could have had a toll on my nervous system and my overall body. So, you know, I'm not gonna push it. I'm not gonna push the limit. The last thing you wanna do is be here and push it, push it, push it, and lead to injury, lead to burnout. That's the last thing you want to do. So I'm going to give my body, my nervous system a little rest today. The plan is a mobility session. So I'm going to give you guys some time to get some time, get yourself a mat, get yourself a strap or a band of any kind. And we're just going to stretch. Um, and that's about it. We're going to stretch. We're going to enjoy. We're going to relax. And I'll take you through some stretches. And let's get the body loose. It's going to be a top, top down approach, bottom up approach, I mean. If you can, what you want to do is take off your shoes. First thing we're going to do is stretch out the feet. The feet get really stressed, a lot of training. Think about a flagpole. The feet are like the bottom of a flagpole. It takes all the stress. So this is a tough position for a lot of people. What I want you to do is curl your toes under and try to sit back on your feet. And if it's too stressful on your feet, on your body, just put a pillow under your ass. What we're gonna do here is pay attention to our breath, breathe in and out of our diaphragm, so six breaths in this position. Shake it out a little bit. Next thing we're gonna do is get the front of the leg, the anterior tib. Shins also get very tight. Like I said with the feet one, if this is too stressful, just put a pillow underneath. Same thing. You're not curling the toes under, you're putting the feet flat on the ground and you're just slightly leaning back. Same thing, six deep breaths in and out of the stomach. Try to breathe only through your nose.
Next thing we're gonna do is a down dog. So what you're gonna do, get into kind of a push up position, but your goal is getting your ass to the sky. Trying to get your ass to, your, to the sky and you're trying to lengthen through the posterior chain, the whole back body. What I want you to do quickly, it's a warm up, and just give me 10 pumps total. Now that we're here, try to get those heels to the ground. Like I said, lengthen the back body. Six deep breaths here. Give me 10 pumps. Now what we're gonna do from here, we're gonna flow from a down dog into a cobra. This is gonna open the front side of your body. All you're gonna do is down dog, flow into a cobra. Here's the cobra. I want you to stay in this position for a couple breaths and then we're going to flow a little bit. So what you're going to do is just try to lengthen to the sky. Give me three deep breaths here. You should feel a nice stretch in your core, in your hips, your hip flexors. Now flow through this six times. Breathe in and out through your nose the whole time. Good footwork? Huh? Good session. Very good. My father may not know the convinced me to Finish a little bit earlier. You do stairs? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Five. One last flow. <laughs> Next thing we're going to do is get into a child's pose. Is really going to stretch the lats, the back side of the body. <clears throat> what you're going to do here is just drop your butt as far as you can down to your heels. Reach your hands in front of you and really lengthen the back side of the body. Give me three deep breaths here. Now, we want to get the left side of the lat, the left side of the side body. Reach your left hand, put the right hand over it. Next thing we're going to do is get the groin. If you're an athlete, if you're a footballer especially, if you train a lot, the groin, the adductors, get very, very tight. So this is just a, a frog position. What you're going to do here is you're just putting your knees as wide as possible. 
drop your forearms to the ground, and slowly just pump backwards. I'll hold there. Bring your ass as close to you can to your feet and give me three deep breaths in and out through the stomach. Next thing we're gonna do and just get the hamstrings. Common stretch for footballers, you probably see it all over the world. What you're gonna do is stretch the legs, grab one leg, and you're just gonna pump your foot to the ceiling. You're trying to get that heel to the ceiling. Breathe in and out through your nose for 15 reps. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Other leg. One. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. <clears throat> Next thing we're going to do is get the hips. Just some simple hip rotations. Start easy, hands on the ground, flow side to side. Twenty reps. Breathe in and out through your nose. Next thing we're going to do, more advanced, so what you're going to do is you're going to get up and really, really stretch that hip. If you need to, use your hands. Five reps on each side. Next thing, be a scorpion. What you're gonna do 
put your arms on the ground into a T and slowly reach one leg to one arm, really open up the hips, open up the chest, and do eight each side. Six more. Last two, we're gonna hold a couple breaths on each side. Three breaths. thing we're gonna do really get those hip flexors get into a lunge position all you're gonna do reach forward eight reps each side that back foot should be dorsi flex toes into the ground slowly lean them hips forward Other side. Next thing we're going to do is an active groin stretch. Put one knee down, one heel down, align the heel and the knee. All you're going to do is slowly push that knee in this direction. You should feel a nice stretch in, this, in both groins. Keep a nice, tall, strong posture. Breathe in and out through the nose the whole time. Most of you can. Give me 12 reps. Hold in the end position for 10 seconds. Switch sides. Same thing, heel in line with the knee and reach, create length. Tighten that left groin there.
hold in the M position for 10 seconds. Good stuff. Take it out a little bit and down dog. Next thing we're gonna do, again, open the feet, open the Achilles, but it's gonna be more of a dynamic stretch now. All you're gonna do, just give me rocks. You should feel a really nice stretch in the Achilles, in the feet. Give me 20 total rocks. Stuff, shake it out. Since we're in this position, we're gonna do a cat cow. Very, very good exercise for the upper back, for the back, the overall core. All you're gonna do is you're in a tabletop position, hands, shoulders over hands, hips over knees, and you're just gonna slowly, with your spine, you're going up and you're curling over. Give me 10. Each one, when you go up and down, is one, is, uh, one rep total. So that's three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to do a thread the needle, a dynamic thread the needle, open the upper back. You're gonna get back into the tabletop position, and all you're gonna do is you're threading that needle underneath, and you're coming up. Give me 10 reps, we're at three. One more. I don't know about you guys and girls, but I'm getting nice and warm. I'm enjoying this. Now left hand. Five more. Three more. Good 
Good stuff. Next thing we're gonna do, another groin opener. We're gonna get into a prayer position. Get as low as you can, sit the hips back. Put the hands into a prayer position and just breathe into this. If you guys are just tuning in, like I said in the beginning of the video, not every day has to be high intensity. Not every day you have to kill yourself to improve. This type of stuff, mobility, relaxing your body, relaxing your nervous system, is just as good as a high intensity workout, especially when your body's tired. Like I said, you gotta listen to your body. Your body knows best, your intuition knows best, and you can't override it. That's what leads to injury, that's what leads to burnout. What we're gonna do here, is now 10 pushes. Next thing we're gonna do, hold on to your toes and reach and open that chest. Switch. 10 total. You should feel a really nice stretch in the hips and the groin as well as the upper body. Shake it out a little. Next thing we're gonna do is get the side body again. Get the neck region, the head. Some of us aren't allowed to leave our houses. Some of us are only allowed to be 100 meters from our house. So we're not moving as much. We're not walking as much, which means we're probably sitting more. We're probably hunching more. We're probably on our computer more, on our phone more. That's what leads to bad posture, forward head posture, whatever you want to say. Bad posture is not good for your body. It's not good for your biomechanics. It's not good for your performance. It leads to injury. It leads to pain. So what we want to do now is really open up the neck the upper back and the side body to really lengthen, open up the chest. First thing we're going to do is head rolls. It's going to be five each side. So all you're going to do is down to the chest, chin to the chest, and you turn. Chin to the chest, and you turn. Hands to the side. Switch sides. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is 20, just tilt side to side. Keep the hands by the side, open the hands. Where you wanna open the tissue, open the fascia. Just give me 20 side to side bobs. We do stairs. Huh? Do stairs. Next thing you're gonna do, put the right hand down, take the left hand on the top of the head, and pull it to the left shoulder. Lightly. The neck's a delicate region. 
Give me three deep breaths here. Other side. Next thing you're gonna do is stretch the suboccipitals, the muscles in the back of your head, the neck. Put your hand here. Pull the head down, give me six deep breaths. Cool. Next thing we're going to do is get the left side body. So stand, feet about shoulder width apart. Drop that right hand down. Try to get that knee. Try to reach for the ankle. Reach for the knee, depending on how flexible you are. Reach over with the left. Really stress the left side body. Six deep breaths here. Switch sides. there. Shake it out. Now we're going to spread the legs wide. Wide as you can. Put one hand down in the middle. Reach up and open that body. Six deep breaths here. Next thing you're going to do, it's a lateral lunge stretch, but we're doing it for mobility, not strength. What you're going to do is just sit back in the hip, really lengthen that right adductor, that right groin. Tall posture, strong posture, six deep breaths. Switch sides. Good stuff. I'm gonna go back to the ground. I wanna get the glutes. It's a pigeon pose. We're gonna do it static at first to really try to open up the hips a little bit. And then we're gonna do it dynamic. Six deep breaths in this position. I'll just lean over the leg. Six deep breaths here. Next thing you're going to do, take the right hand, it's going to be a dynamic pigeon, take the left hand I mean, dynamic pigeon, take the left hand, put it in line with your knee, and just dynamically stretch the glute. Ten reps. Get out of here with the dick in there. Okay. 
Switch sides. Same thing, top position, six deep breaths. Are you stairs? Yeah, 20 minutes. Good. Out to, just to, just to feel I can in 30 minutes. I'll lean over the leg. Six deep breaths here. Same thing. Right hand in line with the right knee. Dynamic pigeon stretch. Under. thing we're going to do, left foot in front, I'm going to really get this, this right hip flexor, this right quad, with the left foot in front act as a stand. And if you can, grab that other foot, lengthen as much as possible, six deep breaths here. side. <sighs> Lengthen. straight in front of you. Really shake out the quads a little bit. Get the hamstrings here. Take two fingers, grab onto the big toe, sit with a nice posture. Six deep breaths, don't hunch the back. If you can't grab your toes, grab your ankles. stretch. Get into a butterfly. Butterfly position. Heel to heel. Six deep breaths here. stuff similar to do get the glute again sit with a nice tall posture grab the foot six deep breaths here switch foot tall posture Next thing, get back into a tabletop position. So 
some hip circles here. 10 each side. Now we're going to go opposite direction. Other leg. Internally rotate. Quick arm swivels. That's about it. I didn't have any of this planned. So just all in my head. Gave the body what it needed. Let's go on to the back now. <clears throat> you have yourself a strap, you have yourself a band, grab it. We're getting to the last part of the session now. What we're gonna do is lengthen this hamstring here. Breathe for six deep breaths. Out to the side, get the groin. Get the quad. Switch sides. Six deep breaths. Out to the side. Next thing we're going to do, last part of the session, in yoga they call it savasana, we're just going to call it stillness, 5 to 10 deep breaths in and out of the stomach. When I say in and out of the stomach, what I mean here, I'll show you, you want, this, you want your stomach to extend out as much as possible. So you breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. I'll show you down on the mat. Hopefully you can see it. Try to let that stomach rise, rise and fall. So open up your hands, open up your legs. They call it the corpse pose. 10 deep breaths in and out of your nostrils. Five more. Mm -hmm. 
two more. Roll up very slowly. Over to the right side a little bit. Slowly push yourself up. That's the end of the session. I don't know how long we went, how long we've gone for. Let's see. Oh, about, about 45 minutes, I think. It was a good session. I really enjoyed it. I feel much more relaxed now. I'm, my mind is looser. My body is looser. My muscles feel good. My breath feels good. Like I said in the beginning of the video, you don't need to push yourself to complete exhaustion every single day. You need to have rest and recovery periods in between those intense periods to make sure that your body grows, your mind grows, everything grows. 